outbreak. So pretty much thanks to the coronavirus just sweeping the nation and just pretty much making Earth close for the next 14 days. Can't see any movie because every movie that was coming out is just being pushed back to who knows when. Because was going to see The Quiet Place 2 tomorrow and now I can't because the C virus. So I just thought what to do. So I got on Netflix and I was like, well, wait a minute. Outbreak is on. I never saw that. So what better time to watch it than, than now, you know? I watched it and I was like, it's a pretty good movie. So since I don't think I'll be reviewing anything that's coming out in theaters anytime soon. I guess I'll just do some Netflix reviews and I saw Outbreak and I liked it. It was a good thriller movie. The movie came out in the late mid 90s and I believe and it was I enjoyed the shit out of it. Anyway, you can't get out to see any movies this week. I suggest, you know, get on Netflix and there's a whole bunch of doomsday movies out. One of them is Outbreak. So look into pros and cons, but I believe that Outbreak, it's already out. I suggest you just watch it and enjoy it. Cause we're living through the shit. Here it goes. I grew up adding in the movie. She has a lot of a lot of good actors in the movie. People were just like, we're gonna find the cure for this. I'm not gonna lay out. I'm not gonna stop until we find a cure. Get this shit done to cure everybody. Oh, he was an intense dude. I was like, yeah, if, if this movie was being remade today, I'm pretty sure Chris Evans could play him. And yeah, he would get it done. Done Captain America saving all of us. I'm also Morgan Freeman. I was like the first movie I've ever seen Morgan Freeman in. And he doesn't have gray hair. I was like, there was a time when Morgan Freeman was young. Who knew? Oh, he was good in the movie too. More in fact, there were no weak links in the movie, more or less. It was really good. Well, even Cuba Goonie Jr. that was in the movie, haven't seen him in forever, and he was good too. So overall, cast in the movie was great. Nice. Plot in the movie, more or less, the movie opens up with there's like this super virus or stuff, the African Motaba, you know, it's in Africa and it's affecting the troops and shit. So what did the government do? They just drop a bomb and just kill everybody. Keep this secret now, now, I can't get out. Until we jump forward like 20 years later or so, and now, through a series of uncircumcised events the virus has come to America and now it's affecting everybody and it's up to Dustin Hoffman to figure out how to stop this shit and keep it from you know getting out and affecting everybody I mean I'm talking about it like 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 this movie's been out for decades and I'm talking about it like 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 it's something new but I'm just talking about people who haven't seen it outbreak it was a pretty thrilling movie I was like what the shit is going on oh my it's reality for the movie the fact that it is a good thriller movie it was a movie that really had me like it gave me the ins and out of the CDC and like all this virus shit goes down like you know the steps that people and governments do to everything to you know prevent it and you know treat it and shit. It's very interesting stuff. I was just like, I'm learning a lot more than I thought I would. Doesn't mean I'm gonna cure corona, so mm. uh, but it was engaging shit like that because you know there's this ticking time bomb and the way the pacing of the movie is it just keeps it going, keeps you on the edge of your seat. A lot of thriller movies just can't get that right. Alright, so it's good to harken back to the nineties where it's like, oh yeah, nineties thrilled that they knew how to do it. It was good. This guy right here, dickhead, it was literally the point in the movie I was like, you know what, well, he's just in it to be that government asshole to just like oh yeah. Yeah, we're just gonna drop this bomb and just kill all these people and shit so the virus can't get out. Oh, and I was just watching it, it was just like, you cannot tell me that the dropping this bomb is the only way to stop this cure and shit without going through and exhausting every other possible way to save everybody. Honey, we get to the end of the movie when they're like, oh, we found the cure and shit, you know, we're gonna vaccinate it and everything like that, get everybody safe, but it's also like, there's this plan that's going to drop the bomb, and it's just like, oh, is he gonna drop it? Is everyone gonna die? It's just like, you don't know what's gonna happen? I bet like you saw in the movie that you know what happens, but uh, I didn't see it, and I was like, oh, shit, mm, what's gonna happen? Mm. I love good thrillers. It was a good thriller, I just... I was a good thriller. At the end of the day, Outbreak, I had a great time with the movies. The movie's on Netflix now. It's been out for decades, but you can watch it now because we're all under quarantine. We can't go out nowhere. Everyone's just being, oh, uh, someone coughs. Oh, my God. So what better would it take your mind off the coronavirus than watching a movie about a super virus that had a mortality rate of, I believe, 100%? Uh, yeah, good times. So we're at this movie. It's, it's already out, so I'll just say watch it and just enjoy it. Was a good movie, Outbreak. Hey, what do you think about Outbreak? Put a couple of notes. Just talk about it, cause what else can we talk about, really? So I was, guess I watch Contagion, and guess I'll review that next. So until next time, guys. Subscribe. Until next time. Here they go.